In 2025, the fusion of artificial intelligence with concepts of life after death is pushing the boundaries of science and philosophy, intertwining them in ways that could fundamentally alter our understanding of existence itself. As we delve into the video, how AI might unlock the secrets of the afterlife, redefine it, we find ourselves at a crossroads between groundbreaking technology and age-old existential queries. This emerging field not only challenges our preconceptions about life and death, but also offers a new frontier in understanding consciousness. Brain emulation and consciousness transfer. The quest for digital continuity. The idea of preserving human consciousness beyond the physical constraints of the body has long intrigued scientists and philosophers alike. With the advent of sophisticated brain emulation technologies, what was once considered a distant dream is gradually some becoming conceivable. Before we continue, a quick shout out to our sponsor, Merch Guru Studio. Whether you're looking for the adorable Chick USB LED nightlight, the Chill Pro Adventure backpack for your next trip, or the Cozy Adventure foot warmers to stay warm, they've got you covered. Check them out at merchgurustudio.store and grab something awesome today. Now, back to the video. Organizations like the Brain Preservation Foundation, along with significant European initiatives like the Human Brain Project, are at the forefront of this exploration. These entities are not just theoretical constructs, but active research hubs, delving into the complexities of the brain's neural networks to find ways to preserve and digitize human consciousness. Mapping the mind. The process begins with the intricate mapping of neural pathways, which is no small feat given the brain's complex structure comprising billions of neurons and synapses. This mapping is akin to creating a highly detailed blueprint of a vast city, including every building, street and wiring beneath its surface. The goal is to replicate these neural pathways digitally, thus preserving the individual's unique cognitive and emotional patterns in a mind file. The role of machine learning and AI. Advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning are crucial to this endeavor. These technologies provide the tools necessary to not only simulate neural activity, but also to potentially store human consciousness in a digital format. AI systems today are capable of astonishing levels of neural simulation, offering a glimpse into a future where human minds might continue to function within computational frameworks. Digital resurrection. The potential to reactivate a mind file in a virtual environment or even in a synthetic body raises profound ethical and philosophical questions. This scenario suggests a form of digital resurrection where the essence of a person could be consulted or interacted with long after their biological death. The implications are vast and varied, from personal and familial impacts to legal and societal changes. How would interacting with a digital continuation of a loved one alter our understanding of life and death? What legal rights would a digital persona have? Beyond preservation, as research progresses, the implications of these technologies extend far beyond mere data storage. They suggest possible future scenarios where humans could potentially switch between biological and digital existences. This could lead to revolutionary changes in how we perceive identity and existence, challenging the very essence of what it means to be human virtual afterlives, the ethical landscape of digital immortality. As the potential for digital immortality becomes more tangible, ethical debates intensify. The primary concern revolves around the control and ownership of a digitized consciousness. Questions of privacy, identity and consent are at the forefront of this debate. 
the Ethics in Emerging Sciences Group at California Polytechnic State University is a key player in these discussions, advocating for robust policies that safeguard individual identity and agency in digital forms. They stress the importance of creating a legal framework that ensures these digital identities are protected from misuse and exploitation. Privacy concerns and data security. The transfer of human minds into digital realms opens up unprecedented privacy issues. If someone's consciousness can be accessed digitally, it creates a potential for misuse that could extend to identity theft on a profound level. Ensuring that digital personas are secure from unauthorized access is crucial but complex, as digital identities could potentially contain the entirety of a person's memories and experiences, the stakes for data security are immensely high. Discussions are ongoing about how best to protect these digital legacies from potential cyber threats. Psychological impacts and societal adjustments. The psychological implications of digital immortality are profound. Living indefinitely as a digital entity could fundamentally alter our understanding of life and death, potentially leading to new psychological states or disorders. The concept of an endless life might affect individuals' mental health, with issues such as digital existential crisis or identity confusion becoming prevalent. Society must also adapt to a new norm where death might not mean the end of interaction with the deceased. This could change mourning processes and the way we perceive loss. Legal and moral considerations. As digital afterlives become a feasible reality, legal systems must evolve to address the rights of digital personas. This includes determining how these entities can be managed, who has the right to access them, and how they can be used after the person's biological death. The moral debates also extend to the implications of replicating consciousness does a digital copy equate to the original person, and what rights should it have? The socio-economic implications of digital immortality. Economic barriers to digital continuation. The concept of digital immortality brings with it not just technological challenges but also significant socio-economic implications. The process of digitizing a human consciousness mapping intricate neural networks and maintaining them in a digital realm is expected to involve substantial financial investment. This raises concerns that only the wealthy might afford such a luxury, potentially leading to a new form of inequality. The Future of Life Institute highlights these issues, advocating for the democratization of life-extending technologies to ensure they benefit the entirety of humanity, not just a select few. The environmental cost of digital existence. Beyond the economic implications, the environmental impact of digital immortality is another critical consideration. The data centers required to host digital personas will likely consume vast amounts of energy. Current trends in technology use already contribute significantly to carbon emissions, and the added burden of sustaining digital lives could exacerbate this issue. Researchers are calling for the development of more sustainable technologies to support these digital realms, suggesting that without advances in energy efficiency, the digital afterlife could have a detrimental impact on environmental sustainability. Social implications and the digital divide. The extension of the digital divide into the realm of immortality could have profound social consequences. If digital immortality becomes reality, it could deepen existing disparities between socio-economic classes. This divide might not only determine who can afford to preserve their digital selves, 
but also who can leave a lasting legacy in the digital world. It prompts a re-evaluation of what it means to be alive and who gets to claim this status indefinitely. The future of humanity and AI. Redefining human identity. As artificial intelligence intersects with the concept of the afterlife, we are prompted to redefine what it means to be human. The possibility of our consciousness existing independently from our physical bodies challenges the very core of human identity. What constitutes self when our thoughts, memories and personality could continue in a digital format? This profound question is reshaping philosophical and scientific discussions about identity and consciousness. Cultural and religious adaptations. The advent of digital immortality will also prompt significant shifts in cultural and religious perspectives. Different faiths and cultures will need to interpret these technological advancements in the context of their beliefs about the soul and afterlife. For example, discussions at the Centre for Theology and the Natural Sciences are already exploring how religious doctrines might adapt to the notion of a digital afterlife. This includes debates on whether a digital form could possess a soul or how rituals such as funerals might evolve to accommodate digital continuations of life. Well, there you have it. We've just scratched the surface of the fascinating intersection between AI, the afterlife, and what it all might mean for the future of humanity. If you enjoyed this deep dive video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content.